we're back to a little bit of a rake uh, one inch uh, higher on, on the back here I think that's a best uh, case scenario that's going to put the least amount of uh, pressure on the uh, truck and the suspension component so what's up uh, YouTube welcome back to the channel my name is uh, Paul today I'm going to go through my uh, tow setup and four things that I did to uh, improve and safely haul the uh, trailer around so let's have a look As you guys know, we picked up a Ram 1500 aka Vader and a Proline 24 foot uh, race trailer. Right now, everything is hooked up. We're fully loaded. There is a uh, car in the trailer. I was trying to replicate everything uh, full weight. So I got tools in there. I got everything under the sun in there. As you can see, there's no squat. The trailer is uh, pretty uh, level. So I'm going to show you uh, what I did to achieve this with a uh, 1500. And, uh, item number one, not a big one, but the uh, truck didn't have uh, the extended mirrors. So I bought these uh, kind of like clip-on, they fit uh, perfectly and they give you that uh, extended uh, mirror with the uh, extra mirror for the uh, trailer. Super handy they come on and off uh, really easy and it was a great addition uh, to the uh, tow package here per se item uh, number two was an absolute uh, must and that was uh, adding an e-brake uh, controller the truck does have a tow package but it didn't have an uh, e-brake so we went with the uh, Takansha p3 works uh, really well i've tested it out uh, around the uh, neighborhood and uh, so far so good Item uh, number three, I picked up a used but in uh, great shape, uh, weight distribution, anti-sway uh, control hitch. It's the uh, E2 uh, hitch uh, system. I literally just finished uh, setting it up uh, today so I don't have any uh, experience to share with you guys, but looking uh, forward to it. From the uh, measurements uh, that I took, I can tell you that it uh, did transfer some weight uh, back onto the front uh, of the uh, vehicle. So I hope it works as well as uh, everyone says it does. And uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, trying it. And the uh, last item that probably has made the uh, biggest uh, difference was adding in the uh, airbags. We went with the uh, load lifter uh, 5000 and I can tell you that thing uh, works uh, amazing. I'm gonna try to crawl underneath and get a peek at it for you guys. There's the uh, driver's side uh, setup. Obviously the uh, rams are known to be uh, soft in the, uh, uh, in the rear because of the uh, spring, not, uh, not with it not being a leaf spring, but the airbags, huge difference. It comes out to a uh, single uh, Schrader valve right here, as you can see. And I currently have uh, 80 pounds in the uh, back there. So with the uh, 80 uh, pounds, you guys can see the trailer's pretty level. That was my uh, goal. And the truck is in its uh, natural uh, stance. When we got it, it was uh, slightly lifted. And so I took all its uh, measurements and I wanted to replicate those measurements uh, once uh, we were loaded. So we're uh, back to a little bit of a rake, uh, one inch uh, higher on, on the back here. I think that's a best uh, case scenario. That's gonna put the least amount of uh, pressure on the uh, truck and the suspension component. So. Looking forward to a long haul and uh, seeing uh, how everything uh, works uh, together. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video. Those were my uh, four items that I felt uh, were uh, crucial. They've obviously uh, helped uh, with the uh, setup. Other than that, uh, you guys uh, know what to do. Give the video a like, drop in a comment, smash the uh, subscribe uh, button. We appreciate you uh, watching uh, all our videos, coming to our live streams, and we'll see you again here on Paul the Fox.